Welcome back, welcome back. We got a new addition for the Hall of Get Back. This man earned his spot because he didn't get get back for himself. He got up for somebody else. <sighs> Bring a tear to a nigga's eye. So motivational. Denzel walked to the room like he was an invited guest. Hey, at least he was considerate enough to close the door behind him. Now, to me, if a nigga walk into my club and something to do my people in the room fearlessly, plays a card on my table, talking about something here for the girl, I don't think it's time to be Dave Chappelle. Especially if you're not funny. This one man was just chuckling at everything this man says And even Denzel peeped Like damn, you get paid extra the more miles you ride? You can hop off The stare down with him and Denzel put a little spark in him Made him a little more helpful Actually progressing the dialogue in the scene like a good NPC he is This must be the vlog squad because I haven't heard this many chuckles since the last time I watched a David video And this f***ing job apparently is to sit at the edge of the desk and laugh That's it At least one is peeping the atmosphere and ready himself for a squabble session Denzel came in on some calm tip $9,800 He pulled it out and was like, here you go I wanna buy the girl's freedom Denzel's a better man than not, because if I knew I could kill them effortlessly, they aren't getting my $9,800. They can have 9,800 stitches to reattach their heads to their bodies when I cut them off. Denzel shook the man's hand thinking they had a deal. $9,800 for the girl's freedom. But apparently $9,800 only pays for a month because this says that she makes $9,800 every two weeks like she's a bi-weekly associate. You freaky motherfuckers need to start paying for sex. This is out of control. And with that, it's squabble time. He took his money, slid it back into his pocket. I do the same. I can't be having blood on my shit. I'm not gonna lie to you. Once you started opening and closing that door like that, I'm opening fire. I'm sorry, but you cannot tell me that's not some exorcist shit. They really sat there laughing, letting a random man examine the scene. How the hell are they running a successful organization being this stupid? Then this man Denzel said, all he needed is 16 seconds. Nodded his head, started his watch, and got active. Now off rib, when we get into the afterlife, yeah, you're fired. It's a pistol. It has range like Steph Curry. You could take a half court shot. He didn't even need to get off the couch. Why the hell did you walk up behind him? Your ass. This <laughs> fed this man a hard knuckle sandwich then folded his arm behind him using his own gun. How it was meant to be used and shot the boss in the throat so we don't have to hear any more of those corny ass jokes. Instead of trying to free himself, he was a selfless warrior and grabbed the barrel with a gun. But what did that earn him? That's right. A shot glass right to the eye. I don't understand why this dude over there was waiting for an invitation to use his knife. They should have held a training session instead of practicing for the laugh factory. He rushed in like he knew how to utilize the blade but became a sheath for the blade. So there was only one gun in the room because this tank top wearing motherfucker walked up and trying to box but now the only boss he knows is a casket because after Denzel made light work of his life slicing his throat then slamming his head on the glass table that's where he's heading the strongest one in that room beside Denzel was the table they should have tapped it in for help because they are terrible especially that that had the gun the worst one and he doesn't care about his life Denzel already had him claws playing as Tony Stark but he wanted more why did he want more he could have laid down pretended to be dead he wasn't happy until he had a two piece from a knife now this man that was sitting on the edge of the desk glazing picking up a wine bottle while there's a pistol on the floor somewhere is criminal now i see why the bosses had him sitting at the edge of the table laughing he's ass and dumb a bad combination how the hell is denzel a man who just for the first time visiting the club able to utilize his surrounding better than the that was there probably daily this organization needed to be purged he scooped up the bottle openers and went to work just stabbing this man every chance he got until he plunged one inside his chest and turned it like he was starting a the car then because he was laughing like a hyena not too long ago denzel had to hit him with a court school uppercut it was mandatory please shut the fuck up he wasn't funny moral of the story he should have took the 9800 dollars or don't be a criminal flip of a coin take what you want